network. Basically looping basically all, all the games. Yeah. It's just, it's just it's great. It's just you great. know, watch it again. And, you know, watch it again. You know, watch people like last night, they hit the Chicago Bears. They hit the backup quarterback trying to run the two-minute out. Run the two-minute out. Try to try the game. It's fun to watch. It's just fun to watch. I agree. Yeah. And so, actually, Actually, as far as the Saints are concerned, probably, probably the rookie that has flashed, the that has flashed in, the so far, in the game so far is the six-round pick, pick pair. Whereas the first, whereas second, third, the first second, third round, second, third, round picks, the, the round picks, picks that, were, the, the, that were sooner are out there. Are out and, there and, you know, and, they, they haven't you know, they, they flashed the way. Yeah, so it's, yeah, so it's very interesting to see that, you know, that no matter you where know, you're no picked, matter where you're picked you know, you still really yeah, can't. You still really can't predict with reasonable certainty, certainty who's going to flash, who's, who's going not going to flash, flash, who's not going to, who's going to be a gamer, flash, who's not going to be a gamer, who's not going to be a gamer, who's and, not going to be a gamer. Um, you know, it's and, a, and, um, it's, it's, a, a, yeah, it's a crap shoot. It's you know, crap. you got to, you got to, you got to just, just hope to get a guy that's going to have some, uh, uh, you know, some pride in his game. Is going to work hard every play. Want to get better every play. Not going to show up thinking, you know, I'm the greatest. And, uh, and 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 that's what I like about it. I like these young guys and the new talent, and you know, the guys from Hofstra and places that you know you you never would expect. They, um, it's fun. Well, also too, I'm looking forward to tonight. Uh, they're gonna be playing in some stormy weather, huh? Yes. In fact, uh, I had my cousin in San Diego who used to live here. He texted and wanted to know what to do for the hurricane, and I said, "Well, my advice is to stock up on your avocados and you." Uh, gluten-free uh, organic raw fruit keep it in a safe place and i think you'll be okay and he uh he's probably going to do that so uh, but it, no really by the time it gets to san diego it's just probably just going to be a, a rainstorm and so yeah, yeah. and i'm sure the nfl uh, is, is the reason they had moved it so they're going to just um roll with it and, Good for them. You know? Yeah, I got yeah, a friend. I got a friend. My, my wife has a friend who uh, lives in California, and she's always back in January. She said the people here have just, have just no clue what, what a hurricane, hurricane is, is, what you're out of the air. And even, even like, like the, you know, the you emergency for people, people just have yeah, no clue. They, 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 you know, not really experience this very much on the West Coast. Um, right, that's kind of, kind of interesting. I told them they might have to cancel their therapy sessions on Sunday. So that, that would be another thing. They probably don't go to church. They, you know, they go to the therapist on a weekend. Uh, just in order to, you know, be, uh, in, you know feel good. Be in tune with Mother Nature, you know. And, um, exactly. But, yeah, it, it, it'll be – it, and then I think it's good for preseason games to see how they do under adverse circumstances. So far, I guess so far, does it have a roof? Yeah, I guess it would, huh? It wouldn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. 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 So, well, so that's going to make a big difference. And then, you know, uh, uh, if you recall, you recall Katrina, the, 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 the dome was evacuation, evacuation center. center. So, um, um, you know, you know it, it, it's, 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 it's a place where they can go and where they can go and be safe if, if you know, it happens to hit. But, uh, I think they think it's, it's going to be just a big rainstorm. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. Yeah, I mean, the and the water water's supposed to cool it down. It'll get knocked down. So, yeah, so it's a good, um, good test. San Diego's actually, um, I would say, I would say one of the better teams the better in the AFC. Uh, they, they have Justin Abair, and they also Just have Max Doug Dugan, who is the quarterback of TCU last year. He's probably going to get a long look. And mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's always good. It's always I, I just I just like to see who's going to, I guess, come out of nowhere. And they had a couple of guys. They had Merriweather, uh, the running back who yeah. was behind yeah. Miller. He looked he like good. he looked good. And they had the uh, I mean Merriweather fifth on the depth chart. You know, you know. Uh, yeah. 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 You know, the the NFL has de emphasized running backs. And it's 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 gone from it's gone from thirty years ago, forty years ago to a pass first league. So that has left the running backs vulnerable. Dalvin Cook just signed this week with the Jets and you know, and he and he was all pro last year and sort of sat out. I don't think Leonard Fournette is still um signed. 
fine. So, yeah. So, yeah. That could be a function I mean, thing, not want to go to the um, training camp. Um, training camp. But, but it's just, they're, they're not in Japan. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, so we'll. They also so had they also number had zero for um for um, for the for Saint. Uh, he's a uh, safety. Act, um, I don't want to sound like Buddy Goldberg on the right now, but he had number zero, which brought me back to memories. I remember going to the same thing when I was five, and they had double zero. Robert Logan. Robert Logan. I remember him. Absolutely. Absolutely. So um yeah yeah. It looks, it looks like, like you go a mighty. Yes. Uh, yeah. It's a, yeah. It's a strong safety you're talking, talking about. about. He might be another one. That's he might be another one. Free safety. So you did well. Yeah, I mean, those guys, those guys, those guys, those guys, those guys, those guys, you know, you know, and, 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 and it's just fun to watch. I'm going to make a mistake. You know, we had a couple of mistakes and they tend to back up. Yeah, that's right. Hopefully that can be better next time. 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 Hopefully that can be better next sessions and, and figure out what they're supposed to do and talk to each other on defense but uh, I, I, I'm excited I, I, I like it also there's also the dilemma a diamond is the coaches may know they want to keep him but they may not want to showcase him quite as much because they want to stash him on the practice squad yeah yeah so there's always that part of the you know, you know, I guess a strategy or trying to decide what you what you do with a lot of these players who who are flashing, but um, it's a I you know, I guess the uh, I didn't what's the spread of the Saints game? I didn't see that. Um, yeah. of us. So. Oh, we were favored. We were favored. We were. Favored. No kidding. Um, could be I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure we were favored. I, I was just like you. I was surprised by that. Maybe well one thing if one thing if you're watching preseason games preseason game and you look at who the backup quarterback quarterback how do you think because those teams generally are the ones that do well also the Pittsburgh Steelers because Steelers play their starters for the most part during preseason while others don't. If you have a quarterback competition you have two three deep quarterbacks that not great but good. That's better than having the superstar quarterback, quarterback and they play and they play and back them up. Right. Right. Back them up. Was now, I was side. watching, uh, I was watching uh, Atlanta. Atlanta. And I'm really, I'm really interested. It was interesting, interesting to think that they're going to they're going to go to the season with Desmond Ritter. They start. They start. I mean, I think, I mean, I think very, very vulnerable. Very, very vulnerable. The quarterback. I just don't. I just don't. I just don't. Aside from Bijan Robinson, we play pretty early too. So hopefully, uh, you know, before they can get it plugged in, we can we can sneak a win in. Now, Bijan Robinson, I would have loved to have. Love he's, to have. He's, he's not. He's, he's not. He's not he's he's probably could get, get to Reggie Bush with a little more, a little more, I guess, um, power um, than you power. had, you know, as, had uh, as a running back. And he uh, actually back. didn't. He actually didn't. He went in the middle of the first round again, yeah. running back on. Um, they're not um, in demand, not just much, much like linebackers. Because like before, before you had the had dome, dome control, the dome, the dome control with four linebackers. Now you could um, argue that Ricky was all the right defensive end. Now you only have, at most, two linebackers on the field at the same time. And a lot of times, only one in passing So Again, like linebacker, fullback. And now running back. And now running back. Like back the yeah. You used to have a team that would have a flanker, have a flanker wide receiver, tight end, receiver, tight end two running backs. Two running and backs. wide receivers and were receivers you were four deep. You were okay. Yeah, and I think the you know the Debo Jones kind of you know the 225 pound linebacker that can run and cover a back out of the backfield and um, that's, that's more of a prototypical linebacker these days instead of the 250 pound run stop. Um, and, and it's, like you said, it's a it's a passing league. But um, I tell you, I like this guy uh, uh, Werner. Saints. Saints. Yeah. Let me tell you, he he has a nose for the football. He is he is there every play. 
a little undersized, but, um, but I'm telling you, I, I, he's, in, he's in on every tackle. I, I, I watch him a lot on defense. He, he, he just he knows where to be, knows where the play is going to develop, and, and, and it heads straight for the ball. It, it's fun to watch. I think if you ever watch, if you ever watch some like, of these um, features like um, our docs, you see is the mental acuity. You see is the mental acuity. Of the, the high players. amount, of mental, high amount of mental acuity in a sense that um, it is a game that you play between the years. A lot of times, especially if you're a veteran, and you lose a step. Yeah. Now, yeah. by understanding, by understanding, the game, understanding the game, understanding keys. That's what I think. That's what I think. And and what Bell used to say, if you're a great athlete, 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 you know what you're doing. You know what you're doing. You can get to the wrong place quicker. And also, like on defense, on defense, it is. In a sense, this team, a sense because team, if you have one portion of your defense break down, break down due to the hour, that's, 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 that's where you have 70, 80 yard runs. Right, right. So it's in the, in the quarterback. In the quarterbacks. To learn the playbook. To learn the playbook. The way they have to every year. I mean, every week. And the plays is just phenomenal. I think what they're finding out in the NFL is. And you're finding a lot of players who are highly touted with a lot of physical attributes. don't cut it because they don't have the processing capability or not applied. Processing at all. Of it. Aspect of it. You just have to make these just have to make these decisions. Second decisions. And, yeah. and when to check out, when, when not to check out, when not to check out, what keys do you need? Um, you know, um, or even if the defense is set, set up. Or is there some kind of key saying that there's a defense? I mean, that's just. Well, I mean, you're playing with a pocket, too, right? Right. As opposed to cutting and running with a lot of inexperienced quarterbacks, too, they're just like, okay, I'm, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to take the sack. I'm going to take off running. And, you know, you know they have the they opportunity to step up in the pocket and get by a little bit of time or time and line up. You know, pass or even a pass. You know, you get it out. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited about the NFL season. I'll be I'll be I'll be parking my around here my chair on, on Sundays and, and watching a bunch of football. So That's right. and college football too, you know, Tigers are what, ranked fifth? Yes. In the A P Yeah. Um college football actually starts next week. They'll have a handful of games. And then the season starts full Labor Day weekend. And LSU's fifth. And here's here's the difference between LSU this year than last year. I mean, a lot of it's obvious, but the difference is expectations. And last year, we had expectations of six and six, seven and seven. Mm -hmm. And we were left with 39 scholarship players. We got 30 some odd players from the transfer portal. I mean, this was a complete rebuild. So we were just looking for progress. And the reason this year was such, last year was such a great success was seven and six, six, seven and five. We beat Alabama. We go to SEC championship. So we exceeded expectations, and it, you, we're generally left with a good feeling. But now this year, the expectations is 11 and 2, 12 and 1. Um, and so now, if you go 9 and 3, which would be a very good season, you would sort of go away from the season, sort of with a sour taste in, uh, in your mouth. And, you know, Florida State. Um, um, you know, and we don't have yeah, a lot of, LSU doesn't have a lot of room for uh, margin for error. Because every week, aside from the grounding game and the, uh, those off, off weeks, Florida State and the seven SEC teams, you have to come and play. Now, we have a break. We don't have we don't have Tennessee this year. we got Missouri. Um, so we got – Georgia's not on the schedule. So we do have a break as far as that's concerned. But now it will be interesting, interesting to see – how LSU deals with expectations and how, I guess, the fan base deals with that also. So, you know, we're expecting to go 11 and 1. We're almost expecting to beat Alabama this year. Uh, you know, I think along the way, you're probably going to lose one that you shouldn't. So it's, it's all about expectations, how LSU is going to handle it, and how uh, Coach Kelly is going to handle it. 
but I, come no, on, and I got to tell you, Coach, you a great job so far. And, 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 and look, the thing that the coaches, coaches do, do they, they coach their players play for play every game. All these kids can play. They've all been all state, all everything coming out of high school. They're all in terrific shape. They're all athletic. And a coach's job is to make sure that they play their hardest every game, even the Missouri game, even the Kentucky game, even the, you know, all of these games. That, you know, and, 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 and you know, Nick even said it when he was at LSU. It was his first uh, national championship game. He's going to the game. They interviewed him. And they said, is this the, uh, is this the biggest game you've ever coached? And he said, only because it's my next one. And that's how he looked. Yeah, I mean, that's how he looked at every game. It's that by next game, we're going to win that game and we're going to pound you and we're going to play our hardest. I don't care if you're nobody state. We're going to we're going to come and bring it. So um, I, that's the kind of mentality you got to instill in the players. I remember when Alabama was playing, I think ULL, they were up by 45, 50 points. And you could see that they were slacking off. I, I told I told Michelle, I said, Nick Saban is going to throw his headsets off and chew somebody out real soon, which in essence happened because part of being a football coach and performing at that level is never letting your team get comfortable, never letting them get comfortable. Yeah, 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 and yeah. that's he understands that. I think Coach Kelly's greatest attribute is his competency. He is confident pretty much in everything he does. And everything he does is well thought out and calculated. And he just seems to be a CEO type of mentality. And he commands respect. He commands respect from the player. And when you have happened, you know, I remember in my school, you know, we kind of had the coaches that. Even as a young kid, I knew these guys really didn't know what they were doing. You know, they just didn't have that confidence. They would tell you different things on different days. And, and you know, you got to be able to trust your coach. you got to be able to buy in. you got to be able to believe it. And, and everybody be on the same page. And, uh, and I think he instills that demand. Gotcha. All right. Well, let's go to a break. Doug Sinceri, Albert Nico, your weekend lawyers, all things legal. We'll be right back after this brief time out. As New Orleans is Mardi Gras and Jazz Fest, WWL AM and FM. WWL is your home of the black and gold and all pro coverage of training camp. Yeah, I thought so. That's for expert good. analysis from the legend. All right, so I did check it. Yeah, ESPN has us favored by three and a half. Most okay. practice comments from Coach Allen. So, no, I'm just taking it, I guess. Boss with eyewitness insights. And Geller and Nowak deliver the latest news. All right, uh, first up is a caller, Charlie from Metairie. He actually called the Home Improvement Show yesterday because it was kind of like a Home Improvement discrepancy a little bit. He's got a fence that a neighbor of his cut down. They then put up a chain wall and then follow that up with their own fence. Basically not on his... Uh, it's, I can't really tell if it's on his property or not, but regardless, his fence was cut down on his property and he doesn't know if the new fence that they put up is encroaching on his property or not. Even if it isn't, his fence is now gone which he believes they had to cut down solely to put up their own fence. He talked to them yesterday, and, and the home improvement people were like, look, the only advice we can give you is talk to some legal people about that. And she was like, okay, I guess I'll come back again tomorrow. And I was like, yep, let me do that. Actually, based on trademarks, are you with permission? And private and private people can only be in the same year. First time I knew, I'm going to get your own return. That was because it required. Refund issue does not withdraw the bonus. Bets will expire in seven days. Restrictions apply. See full terms at fanduel.com slash sportsbook. If you are somebody who has a text message, you can only call me. Looking for the person. The most recent one. There's no better way to say I love you than with a pair of diamond stud earrings from Open Heart Jewelers. Let me read okay. you this online review from Kristen. Yeah, I purchased an we'll absolutely we'll beautiful pair of diamond stud Charlie earrings Trump. today at Open Heart. They keep me the yeah. superstar. The thing is, the diamond stud earrings that come in a box from Open Heart, they're each a true work of art. An Open family member personally searches through hundreds of diamonds and chooses only those with the most fire and brilliant. 
area. I don't think for a minute that all diamonds are alike. Ours really sparkle, and you don't need a loop to see the difference. Plus, we buy direct, so we bring you the best for less. And no matter how much you want to spend, we have a huge selection of diamond studs to choose from. In every price range, second to none. C'est magnifique, oui. There's a great work of art in every box from Open Heart. On Are you ready? to dig the extra season and take your backyard back with J and J exterminating getting rid of what's bugging you is what we do every day from mosquitoes to ants to no seams J and J will make your pests go away J and J provides mosquito one time treatments for special occasions or misting systems that get rid of mosquitoes every day all day long call J and J exterminating Louisiana's largest independent pest control firm with over 55 years experience J and J exterminating are you a business owner doing your own bookkeeping? Why, 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 why? It makes no sense, literally. Focus on what you do well, like growing your business, and let Accounting Services Unlimited handle your bookkeeping. Hi, this is Thomas Fontes. Accounting Services Unlimited is insanely affordable and will come to you. Call for a free quote. Accounting Services Unlimited, 504-717-6253. That's 717-6253. Or visit us at asu-llc.com. Join us at Odyssey as we all do our own day. Another million times. Million for our plan. Some summer items should not wait in with your group plan. Items like garden posters, holistic plastics, and your toys will be in your hand. It's generally not a plan. And our best don't eat it. We have a Don from the North Shore who has a friend of his who had a tree get struck by lightning. It hasn't fallen down yet, but the tree is nearby on a neighbor's property. And the neighbor is threatening the steamer and wants to let go to the owner of the land. And the caller isn't the neighbor, nor is he the owner of the property. He's just a like every fascination to enjoy a beautiful summer day. And we each share our one thing. It becomes a hundred things, a thousand things, a million things for our planet. What's your one thing? All things All legal things with Jackson Ferry and Albert Nico on WWL and Odyssey Station. Connect now on the Urban Heart Jeweler and Talking Text Line 504 260 1870. Hey, we're back. That's in Terry. I'll have to go. All things legal. Let's go to phone lines. Let's go to Charlie from Metairie, home of the West Esplanade Canal. What do you have for us, Charlie? Uh, good morning, gentlemen. Um, I have a pen issue. Um, the house behind my house was torn, the old house torn down, and um, they uh, constructed a new house. And in the process, uh, they actually just took a sawzall to my fence and cut it down and threw the fence into the dumpster front of the house. So, Problem is, obviously, they cut the fence down. Um, I, I was told by the fence company it was a mistake. Um, I don't believe it was a mistake. Uh, what they did do was uh, build a chain wall um, just inches behind where my fence was. I think they needed the room to build their chain wall and construct a tent. So, what what type of fence was it? Yeah, what type of fence was it that they tore down? Was it a chain link fence? Was it a chain link fence or wooden fence? What type of fence was it that they tore down? It's a, a it's it's just a, a pine uh, six foot fence. It was thirty seven feet of fence they cut down. Right. Uh, yeah. Now let me ask you: How long have you been living in your property? Yes, sir. I've been there for. Uh, Almost 20, 20 years, about 19 and a half years. Okay. Um, and, and did you put that fence up or was, was or did you, were the poles there and you added a fence? No, sir. Um, there weren't, Katrina, Katrina took the fence, my, that original fence down. So then okay. when my fence was put up, they put it up two feet off of my property line. 
mistakenly. It was a friend of mine that put the fence up. Okay, so, so wait a minute. Two feet, two feet into the neighbor's property or two feet into your property? Into my property. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, into my property. Um, and, and then this construction guy, it, uh, the people that build the uh, house, come up, he claims, and there was a stake placed where his chain wall went, uh, and it was right behind my fence. And my mm -hmm. thing is, okay, wait a second. I have two feet here on his property, but he's building his chain wall right behind the fence right, right. that I did have. There. I, I um, think the first thing you need to do is spend, you know, three or $400 and get a, a survey done. Get a survey done, make sure that the, the fence that they put up is not on your property, right? Because then they can start acquiring that property um, at, over a certain period of time. So I would get a survey done, and if their fence is in the wrong place, I would demand that they remove it. And if they don't, then you hire a lawyer and get them to file something to show that uh, it's, it's, it's in the wrong spot. And then also right. demand that they pay to have a fence, you know, take, to have your fence put back up. Right. Um, if I might say, they uh, they offered to pay me eight hundred for the next song. Are you a fan of prints at all? The three estimates yeah. I got for the yeah, we're gonna do something for Purple Rain. Was uh, uh, the average of the three was fifteen hundred and fifty dollars. So he right. said, "No way am I going to pay you fifteen hundred fifty dollars for your fence." So um, I, he says, "Look, I'll give you eight hundred dollars, which at the time I said, okay, look, I'm going to take the eight hundred and get out of this." However, they had he had an attorney draw up paperwork saying that if I sign that, I have no further recourse if his fence is in my property. So obviously, I didn't sign. Good for you. Yeah, yeah, I would get the survey done. And if, and if the survey shows that the fence, fence is two feet on your property, property then I would uh, make, make a demand to have, to have that fence removed. And, and then, and, and then, and then have, I have your fence rebuilt on your property line. I got gotcha. you. And, and one quick question. The, the house uh, is for sale. Uh, he built it, and it is for sale. It's on the market. If that right. house is sold, will there be any uh, change in uh, how this whole process plays out? Well, I think what you can do is if you file something um, regarding the fence, if you file some sort of injunction or you file some sort of action, um, what you would file is something called a list pendant. It, 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 you file that into the uh, arts uh, office uh, where the property is located, located, and it, it means that it, there's pending litigation, right? It'll list pendants. Um, and that way, when somebody goes to examine that title to purchase the property, they'll see that there is pending litigation reference. To, re, 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 re. I got you. Yeah. All right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll just sit on it. I'll try to go next week to, to get you a survey done as quickly as you can because obviously you would like to try to work this out with the builder and not have a third party come along. I understand. Yeah. All right. Well, good luck with you. Sounds great. Sounds great. All right. All right. Well, you know, in those well, kind of know, situations, we need a boundary to speak. Probably a lot of times. Probably a lot of times. The person who's eyes is, is, is get a survey. Get a survey. You know, you know what you're dealing with. Yep. You, I mean, you, you basically, basically need a lot of calls. Baseball terms. Baseball terms. You need to know what is what. Because a lot of times, if you don't know, you know, where the boundary line is. You really don't know what type of action, what type of action is necessary. And a lot of times, time, most of the time, the, the, time the boundary line is not, line is not accessible <laughs> visually. You know, especially right. if, you know, if it's two or three feet. So. Well, and of course, the parachute, in, in parachute 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 requires that you get a permit when you put up a new fence. Not, not reinstall a fence, but when you put up a new fence, you're required to have a permit. Uh, or if you change the type of fence, if you go from a a, a chain link to a wooden fence, whatever they want to come out and inspect it and make sure that it's on the correct property boundary and we don't have any issues down the road. So, a lot of times, what you can do is go back and look at the uh, an abstract of the property, and the fence will uh, oftentimes be on the, the, the boundary uh, lines and shown on the survey. So, um, 
you know, you, you can go back and look at the, the, the records from the that piece of property that are online or, you know, if you want to go down to the beginning building and look them up. But um, you, you can see whether or not a fence has been there and for how long. And so, um, you know, I, I think it's, you know, yeah, he's got to get the survey done immediately. And then I would hire a lawyer and get somebody to, to write a write letter saying, hey, look, we're going to file a list pendants. We're going to do this. We're going to, you know, block the sale or, or you know, not block the sale, but you're going to have issues with your title because of the list pendants. So we need to get this resolved. Right. So they basically, come to the table because they want to sell that house. Right. If you have litigation, right. have litigation the title company got, the does company a search of public records and they see the list pendants, they say, we're not, we, we can't insure the title. It causes often. Uh, it's the impetus for some type of resolution. All right. Let's go to a break. That's Terry Albanico. You can always help me. We'll be right back. We'll be right back after this free Getting to the good, best part. As New Orleans has red beans and rice, WWL AM and FM. Monday morning on WWL, the latest statements for cancer. And yeah, we usually do, we usually do sweeps, and sweeps are like down here when, you know, the, the audio sounds like it's like a glitch, and then I yank the music down. We usually do that, but I wanted to mess with some of the liners today, and the liners are like those quick, like four to five seconds, like WWL radio, like all of that, and uh, because if I do that, then I can put the music on, like, and then I get back at the rock. A little while garden hoses, plastic planters. So, yeah, that, I got that call. I I love callers like that. I hate callers like that. I like that we're able to help them. I hate that he was the kind of person who wouldn't stop talking. So, whenever I saw Albert about to start talking, I have to mute him or else Albert wouldn't get a chance to talk. So, almost every single time Albert answered was simply because I let him out because he was the guy like that. I'm just going to wait a and then Albert finished the question, and then I am here. And you know, I can see Albert going like, eh, 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 and I knew it, and I'm like, oh, this is good. Like, uh, one thing, it becomes a hundred things, a thousand things, a million things for our planet. What's your one thing? Yeah, no, when you come to Home Improvement, it sounded much more like you should be what are we thinking? I'm still, I still got some movies now. I'm still, 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 I'm
on it. Coach Dustin Hammond. As long as we don't get a 53, I think that should be our aim. Check out our premier line of aluminum boats, including Vexus, Avid, and Gator Cape. For all your last minute service needs on your outboard engine, or for those bigger jobs, come to Boat Stuff and handle today. Let our factory trained technicians handle all your outboard needs. Here in New Orleans, we all know that weather events can interrupt operations, but ransomware can be just as destructive. Is your cybersecurity system robust enough? Is your backup backed up? Does your team have the ability to work remotely by choice or if necessary? Protect your company's digital assets with custom IT oh, solutions you know, you from the local you, experts at Monarch night. Technology. Don't risk becoming a victim of poor IT management. Go ensure your peace of mind by Gold visiting Montech. I think it's just like the theme itself. It's so it's so recognizable, you know? Like it's this product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any. It's like the Mission Impossible thing, you know? For all of you who suffer from calcium oxalate stones here is some free advice tip one drink plenty of water it takes a lot of water to dilute and pass the substances that lead to stones tip two modify your diet you'll need to limit sodium cut your meat Tired of difficult lifestyle changes that often don't work? If you suffer from calcium oxalate stones, now there's help. Kidney Comp, calcium oxalate protector. Add Kidney Comp to your routine as a way to potentially reduce or even stop the formation of calcium oxalate stones. Kidney Comp is a dietary supplement developed by doctors and pharmacists. It's been proven in laboratory tests to reduce the rate of calcium oxalate crystal growth by 99%. That's right, 99%. Just take Kidney Comp. Satisfaction guaranteed in your money back. You can purchase affordable Kidney Comp today by visiting Amazon.com, Walmart.com, or KidneyCop.com. Yes, you can start enjoying life again. Purchase Kidney Cop at Amazon.com, Walmart.com, or KidneyCop.com today. Consult with Nico and Sincerely now on the Open Heart Jewelers Car Contact Line. 504-260-1870. All right, we're back. Doug Sinceri, how are you doing? Weekend lawyer. 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 Bond. Who, who, what's your favorite Bond? Your favorite. Best Bond, Albert. Um, Roger Moore. I think Sean Connery. Oh, Roger, Roger Moore. Roger Moore. Yeah. Point yeah. I was, uh, uh, I went to, uh, 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 actually, the last uh, one. Uh, uh, guy's uh, name, I think. Realistic. The whole bond thing is uh, uh, is more today. You know, I, I like I like the guy. Like you know, actually, might even be because they've been great stories involved with those last bond movies. I like I like I Why the villain? Why the villain? Okay. Just shoot, nice. you know, just shoot the guy. You know, don't and don't show yeah. don't show the operation before you count down. Yeah, they're always yeah, talking, always talking you know, telling everybody. Telling everybody. Right. That's just stupid. Yeah. I, I just, I just don't get it. All right. So so we, went, uh, we went to summer, summer to uh, back in April. We went, we went, we went to the Maui Coast and the Mary Mary. Mary went to Monte Carlo. Went to Montino. And I was telling this to somebody, you know, a buddy of his yeah. went there a couple of years ago, and it said, he walked in, in and, uh, and um, Roger Moore. Moore is like at the dice table. Oh, yeah. And that's a month of Carlos Martino, you know. I couldn't, I couldn't help it. So I had to go up to him and say, look, I'm a fan. Big fan. He said, this is just crazy, and I'm seeing you. And a Monte Carlo, and a Monte Carlo you, know, you know, you know. And he said he was watching him about it. He was just, you know, very nice and cordial. And said, yeah, you know. He kind of appreciated it. But, um, All right. Thanks. Yeah, let's go to the phone line. Let's go to, let's go to Don from the North Shore in God country. Hey, Don, what you have for us? Good morning. Good morning. I, I, I'm surprised how much you, you fellows know about uh, football. I was impressed. Uh, I can say that. I have a neighbor, a very good friend, who inherited about 100 acres from her father. Okay? And in, in that area... There was a few lots sold, and a man has a lot that he bought and built a house on that he has a rental on. And this 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 week we had a rainstorm, just a brief one, but it was a lot of lightning. Lightning hit a large tree, and before the ground had dried out, this guy with the rental property was calling up and threatening her if she didn't get that tree taken down that he was going to sue her for because it was might hit his house. 
I just don't, and I, I have nothing but question. I have no idea what the law would be about that. All right, Albert. Yeah, Albert. Question about two yeah exactly. So, um, you know, if the tree is hanging over onto his property, or is it just lightning, lightning hit it and it may fall in that direction? I think it's more lightning hit it and it may fall in that direction because they own the road and it's along the roadside and it's wooded and it's a long tall. Uh, pine trees, they usually grow up pretty straight, but I, I can ask her that question. Right? Yeah, okay. the, the, you know, listen, so if you've been put on notice that you have a dead tree or a diseased tree, um, like now the guy can sue you, but he can't force you to, you can't force you to cut your tree down uh, in a lawsuit unless it's hanging over his property and it's and it's a threat to his property, imminent threat to his property. But if, if he just sees a, you know, a tree that's been hit by lightning and think, hey, it, it may perhaps fall this way, um, you need to cut it down. He's got no real code of action for that. But, uh, but, uh, but, but the other side of it is, if she has if she been has put on notice that she has a dead tree or a tree that was struck by lightning, um, then... And, and it does fall and land on his house, and of course she would be liable for it. And unless she has, you know, the right type of insurance to protect her for that, um, I, I would, I would maybe take steps to try to cut it down. Okay. My suggestion was just in the shape of keeping neighbors friendly, just cut it down. You know. Yeah, but, yeah, but yeah. But you know, depending on the size of the tree, it might be a three or four thousand dollar deal, you know. You know? So yeah, it, it's yeah, yeah. yeah. that's just so something that's she's got to weigh against the, the possibility that it might fall to us as well. Well, I appreciate your advice, so she could be culpable if it were to fall and hit it out. Because she has been put on notice, yeah. She now knows that, that, that she has a defective condition of her property and um. So there's a strict liability aspect if you can prove that she knew or should have known of uh, of the disease tree and failed to do anything about it. And the man even told her father, he says, I told them years ago that those trees could be a problem and he didn't do anything about it. Well, it's, it's, it's a wooded area. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, and I mean, look, trees, trees die, right? right? So, and again, unless you're aware of it, unless you know that there's some kind of bugs or something that are eating them or, or, or termites or whatever, you know, then you really have no liability, um, especially in a wooded area. But, uh, yeah, but that's what I'd, I'd tell her to do. Go ahead. Yeah. Thank you, Don. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate Don. it. Call, Don. Yeah, I think Albert yeah, does I probably. Think Albert does probably about chapter four in your treatise. Yeah, my tree, my tree treatise. Yeah, your tree treatise, and I think it's on paperback very soon. So um, yeah. You know. um, hey, uh, I, look, I know I've been a little distracted, so I went to uh, Norjo, which is right over here by my house. It's it's kind of like a you know a central grocery, but right here in Old Metairie, and they've got all kinds of great stuff. They got a big cheese wheel that they you know, take dump pasta in and mix the wheel. I mean, they really do that. Some great stuff. Right? I saw this book. It's called it's Big called Nana, a Big Mama and Nana's, Nana's Italian, Italian cooking. cooking. And so it's a it is this little lady from Sicily, seven years old, and um, got a bunch of recipes. So I can't wait to uh, bust out the tomato sauce and the uh, the garlic and the onions and and you know have at it. Uh, but I've been kind of flipping through as we've been going through the, the, the program. Well, and playing that Godfather music in the background, too, so just to get in the Exactly, yeah. exactly. But yeah, they got all kind of great, you know, gold and all kind of great recipes, you know. Big, yeah, well, that's where you learn. Big, big, big Mama, right? Big Mama, big, big mama and Nana. Uh, big Mama, okay. Good piece, good piece. All right, let's go to a break. Also, I was 
queued up for some Star Wars, and then he said Godfather, and I had to get up. That's awesome. Breaking news about the Saints and LSU on WQL is powered by BetQL. Smarter bets start with You got to remember that I, I went to college and I, I made it in terms of like, you just back, you just score the like, Oh wait. Um, Mark, that's the one. They are using the handle. It's number one. It's I know. I know. I know. That's the wrong number. First bet up to one thousand dollars. That's up to one thousand dollars. All right. Only make sure you know they're getting their their worth at making. What's your chance to get a no sweat first bet up to $1,000 when you join FanDuel today? Just go to FanDuel.com slash T-O-M-M-Y and sign up. FanDuel, official partner of Major League Baseball and WWE. I'm thinking I'm thinking maybe next. I'm thinking I'm going to pull a song. You know what? I'm going to pull a song from a song that, like, you know, got popularized bonus expire in seven days. Restrictions apply. See full terms at fanduel.com slash sportsbook. If you or someone you know has a gambling problem and wants help, call one 777 We all know the best teams are preparing when turmoil hits. It's the same principle with your finances. You take your hard-earned money and security. I'm thinking I'm thinking we do something new. My hit is guarantee. They can help you protect your money. Something like that. Maybe not that exactly. Sure something like that. Like, I got something like that. Unexpected and always get you through unscathed. All right, we're looking like it's 8 56 right now. We're looking to be back around 8 in like 30 seconds. So we got at 8 7 7 6. Well, about, about a minute and a half. A little less than a minute and a half. Guaranteed.com. It's a no brainer. Invest with the people. So we'll come back with the music, no rejoin. You can just take it away, remember? Provide you with stability and peace of mind. Hi, this is Glenn Pellets with Golf. South guarantee. Give me a call for a pre consultation and let's make sure your retirement money is secure. 877 615 4312 or golfsouthguarantee.com. Real love. Real love. Real love. Real love. Your assets from financial uncertainty. Southern Coins and Precious Metals. SouthernCoins.com. Attention taxpayers. If you or your business owe the IRS back taxes or have years of unfiled tax returns, the IRS has green-lighted billions of dollars in tax relief to those facing financial hardship through its tax relief initiatives. If you have a delinquent tax problem and possibly facing wage garnishment, liens, levies, audits, or already in a payment plan, you may now qualify for significant relief. Qualifying and enrolling in this program could stop all collections, settle your tax problem, and may even reduce what you owe by a 99% call the hotline at Tax Help USA to see if you qualify by dialing 800-853-1718. If you or your business owe back taxes to the IRS or state, you can now get the help that you need during these hard economic times. Call Tax Help USA to get your free tax assessment to see what you qualify for by dialing 800-853-1718. 800-853-1718. That's 800-853-1718. The PBP Voices of Baseball is a podcast about the art and craft of play-by-play, and we're in the middle of an. All right, back in about twenty seconds again. I'm just going to do music and rejoin, take it away whenever. Even more, and learn along with me, Matt Spiegel, how the job is done. It's not just home run Bryce Harper and the Phillies lead. To really do it justice, you got to widen the lens. What does this home run mean? The PBP Voices of Baseball. I bring you the people who bring you the game. Listen on the Odyssey app or wherever you get your podcast. Don't you forget about me. Don't, 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 uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, they, 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 the the, 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 the
All right. So, all right. So, oh, we're uh, oh, we're uh, we're uh, we're gonna we're, be, uh, be on to the next one. You can give us a call to our firm. I'm Linda Kelly. Hurricane Hillary is bearing down on Southern California. What we know for certain is there will be sustained high winds of up to 50 miles per hour and that there will be enough rain to flood low-lying areas of Mission Valley and the Water River Valley. San Diego Mayor Todd Gloria in Los Angeles, Assistant Fire Chief Guy Tomlinson says residents have been doing everything possible to prepare for Hurricane Hillary. We've seen a higher than usual rate of people coming for the sand and the sandbags. We've already gone through a year's supply of sand and sandbags in the city of Los Angeles, and we're obtaining more. Hillary is expected to make landfall later today and will be the first tropical storm to hit Southern California in 84 years. She's also expected to hit parts of the Southwest. FEMA Administrator Deanne Criswell says President Biden is heading to Maui tomorrow to see firsthand the damage to the wildfire. And he's also going to speak with residents in that devastated area. The federal government is there. We have collected them to bring the resources they need to help them as they begin to start their recovery and their rebuilding process and do it in the way that they want us to do, help them. Criswell appeared on CBS's Face the Nation. More than 100 people have been killed by the wildfires. Hundreds more are missing. Fans are celebrating a Spain with England at the Women's World Cup in Australia. The BBC Jaima Khalil is there. They are now dancing on the pitch. The fans are cheering. They're dancing, and I think they're going to do this for a while. No, you're not going to go to bed, are you? No. You're going to stay out. Yeah. There you go. It's going to be a long night of celebrations for Spanish fans. Spain beat England one to nothing. The first GOP presidential debate will be on Wednesday in Milwaukee. Louisiana Republican Senator Bill Cassidy says as far as he's concerned, it's a good thing that former President Trump will not be there. I think any Republican on that stage in Milwaukee will do a better job than Joe Biden. And so I want one of them to win. Uh, if, if former President Trump ends up get, getting the nomination but cannot win a general, uh, that means we'll have four more years of policies which have led to very high inflation. Senator Cassidy was on CNN. He has previously said he would not vote for Trump in 2024. Crews are fighting to stop wildfire sweeping through the West Kelowna suburbs in Canada's British Columbia. Jason Broland is the West Kelowna fire chief. Many of these areas aren't safe. There's power lines down. There's still fires burning in these places. There's all of the toxic hazards that are associated with a house that's burned down. We have to make sure that danger trees are assessed and, and fallen so that they don't fall on the staff that's out there. This is CBS News. Hire with minimal effort and max speed with Indeed. Their hiring solution platform helps you attract, interview, and hire candidates efficiently. Visit Indeed.com slash credit. Have you Googled yourself lately? Are there negative posts from an ex-employee or from a former client? Maybe an outdated news article or sensitive personal information about your family? Search engines don't always get it right. For right or wrong, it's your reputation on the line. That's where Reputation Defender by Norton comes in. One of the most trusted names in online reputation repair. Reputation Defender has been fixing people with virtual dogs for over 15 years. Their cutting edge approaches help you to wipe away unwanted information in your search results. They also promote the good stuff so that it rises to the top, helping you put your best foot forward. Your good name is too valuable to leave the wings of a Google algorithm. Take control with Reputation Defender. You can start by doing your free reputation report card at Reputation Defender. Or call 800-803-5505 to speak to an expert. That's 800-803-5505. 
WWL first news. Johnny and Arizona on your official weather station, WWL. Good afternoon. Hi, your local weather expert, WWL TV meteorologist Alexa Trishler, has a full look at the forecast coming up in a moment. The World of Dance preseason game against the Los Angeles Chargers will be played in Angel tonight. This despite Hurricane Hillary's impact and Southern California later today. By the time Hillary reaches her now, it's expected to be either a low grade tropical storm or a tropical depression. Kickoff set for 6.05 Central Time right here on WWL. Kenner police arrest the 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 Kenner the trial was originally set to begin next year, but after multiple appeals by prosecutors, it is now going to begin before the end of this year. All four teams are facing second with murder charges and will be tried as adults. It's been a cruel summer for New Orleans' businesses. As WWL TV's Rachel Hanley reports, even businesses that don't rely on foot traffic are feeling burned by the scorching heat. Mardi Gras World has started offering cheaper water and cardboard fans. Some tough tourists still made the journey. We know we knew before we came that it was going to be hot. And uh, we've, we've stuck it out. But overall, staff says the usual summer slowdown has been more extreme this year. With more record heat in the forecast, it won't be picking up anytime soon. Here's Charlie Long with WWL Sports. This WWL Sports update is brought to you by People's Health. Who's a player to watch for when the Saints face off against the Chargers in their second preseason game tonight? A recent pickup on defense has been turning heads at practice. Veteran linebacker Jalen Smith. Head coach Dennis Allen has been impressed while he's learning the playbook, and WWL's Deuce McCall. Alistair was complimentary of Smith during the Saints practices with the Chargers last week, saying he's been fantastic. There were one or two run plays, and even in pass coverage, I mean, he's filled it. I don't know how comfortable he is yet completely, but you could tell he's played a lot of football. He's been in different defenses. He's comfortable in that, and so he's just finding, trying to find his keys. But he looked really, really good out there, just being mixed in with the guys, whether it's the ones and or twos. But he, you can see there's no hesitation. He's going, he's seeing it, reading his keys, and he's going to make it a play. We expect to see Smith in some capacity tonight, so we'll see what he can do in his black and gold debut. Maybe linebacker depth isn't that concerning anymore for the Saints. Kickoff is set for tonight at 6 p.m. with pregame beginning at 4 right here on the home of the Saints, WWL. Charlie Long, WWL Sports. Now, your Garcia roofing forecast. Yeah, nobody on the line right now, so we can, uh, you know, have a more sports. We can go to that text that we have. playing a sun today. Most of us seeing dry conditions, maybe a straight shower or storm. Tomorrow might be the only day we get some relief as we track that gulf disturbance passing by to our south. It should provide us some more cloud cover tomorrow. It's also going to get breezy for your Monday. Winds will be coming from the east. With the clouds and hopefully some scattered showers and storms during the day, high temperatures will only be in the lower 90s. That is it. Tuesday and the rest of the week, we are going to get into a dangerous way with high temperatures each day and it's triple digits. Not much rain around in the it's crazy that they're like that. Join us on Rope and Jeweler Talk and Tech Fund, 504 360 1870, or connect any time anywhere on the Odyssey app. Now, to our Jettison Financial Technology Studio in the heart of New Orleans, here are attorneys Albert Nico and Doug Sinceri. Hey, we're back. Hour number three, Doug Sinceri, Albert Nico, your Jettison Financial Studio. Call 260 or text us on the Oakland Heart Talk and Text Line. Um, 100, we're going to have digits all the way through Labor Day. Yeah. yeah. And so I was thinking you know, about the logic. Contest. The Saints used to play two, three, 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 three,
Um, and then LSU and then LSU would play, would play opening day opening and Labor day. day. I don't think they could do that. To, uh, it would be pretty high. high. Oh my goodness. I'm looking at my goodness. Well, I'm going to be honest with you. It's why I never had LSU tickets. Because what you end up doing is, yeah, I mean, you, you end up getting six home games. And so two or three of them are going to be powder puffs. They're going to play them in September. When it's 100 degrees in the stadium. So really, you know, you're going to get out of them every year. You know, at home, you know, that, that it's just it's not worth it, I think, for the three or four home games that you really want to go to. Um, to have those tickets, I'd rather just rock on TV. Yeah, actually, our tickets actually, our sun goes down in goes the, down in the uh, west, and so uh, we're west. Basically, and so we're basically basically we're the first. So we're the first set of um, stands set of or stands that, that, or that get that get to. But I, I remember sitting. Uh, on I remember the, sitting on the side during right. a um, during a game during this, during this game, it was about eighty-five, ninety degrees. Breeze, it's just. That was that was that was that was at eighty five and ninety. You know, at a hundred. You know, at a hundred. I remember, yeah, remember yeah, years ago there was a game where they sold out of water. Of water. Yeah. They didn't have enough bottled water. Everybody was just, was just so hot. hot. Um, they ended up, you know, selling out a bottle of water, and people, I guess, had to drink beer, right? Yes, yes, yes. Well, that's. <laughs> Yeah, that, that would be the lot. That would be the lot. Um, exactly. Yeah, I was talking about. Yeah, I was talking I about. Do you remember the days? Do you remember the days where they had these preseason games? I think it happened. Uh, I always it happened. 19, always in nineteen seventy six. Yeah, I don't remember that. I remember four is what I remember. Yeah, yeah, I remember four is what I remember. I mean, I guess you're right. Every year, I guess you're right. Every year, yeah, every year in two nights. And you wouldn't start the season in September. And so I, I, I hope they go down. I hope they go down. I hope they go down. Go down and go eighteen. Then go eighteen. Maybe eighteen games. And I think they're probably heading in that direction. I think the NFL probably wanted to do that sooner, but they. You do it incrementally. You have the players' association and sure, those type of issues. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, you know, the players, the veteran, the veteran that run the play association, association don't want to play three games. Three games, but, but certainly the guys, the guys that fighting for a, a spot on the roster, on the roster you know, they want, they want as much as, much, as many minutes as they can get, get, on, the get on the field. Um, um you know, and I just you know, think I just it's just better for the team to be able to evaluate. You know, and the it's not like the veterans play a whole lot of season anyway. So I don't see what the problem with. Three, three, three games, three games is. and I think yeah, three is probably yeah, right. Four is too many, but, um, but um, it gives you enough time to evaluate, evaluate your talent, talent and, and let them, and let them, you know, get out there. Game speed. Yeah, in fact, the Saints in 1967 were five and one in their first preseason. In their in preseason, so they were five and one. I think they lost the first game in Los Angeles. And they won their next five. I think they played one game in Baton Rouge, one game in Shreveport, maybe. They were five. One game in Tulane. So right. They like, now, the difference was when they had the expansion draft, they had, there was a philosophical disagreement. Um, I think Coach Pierce, uh, as I was told by Bill Becknell, wanted to pick young guys and build the team over time, but take the hits in the beginning. And John Reed, right. who was 27 years old at the time, wanted to put all these veterans who were on the downside of their career. So they, 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 they signed Jim Taylor. Paul Horning, Paul Horning, and so yeah, they, yeah. Doug Atkins. Um, right, right. Right. They wanted, I think they wanted to still stand, right? right. I think they wanted, they wanted to be able to come out and say, hey, I recognize this guy's guy name, I'm going to show up in a show game, show game, game or two. Or two. But, but, but I think that kind of backfired because, because, you know, you, you, know, you grab somebody, somebody on, on that far end of their career, they've got it done. And, um, and um, yeah, they, yeah, they can't compete with you. Like Davey Witzel played on the championship. But I think there were 3 and 11. There were 3 and 11, 4 and 10, 5 and 9. And they fell off the cliff. Off the, cliff. the next year in 70, next year I think there were 2 and 11. And that was Tom Dempsey year. They had fired Tom Pierce, 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 Tom
You know, it was a, you know, it was a funny uh, band day. I don't think they have more than five games, won more than five games, five games, games in a season. Um, in their um, first, uh, first nine years. Yeah. Nine. Yeah. The always, Saints fans still showed up. Showed up. Yeah, yeah. 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 They, they were always yeah. one of the highest paid teams in the league. The highest paid teams. So it wasn't the fact that they didn't pay. It's just it's a lot of And I did see most recently um, about alcohol sales. And we lead the league, by the way. That's a no-brainer there. Yeah. And I think, I think we, we spend more money when we're losing, actually. Do you think? I don't know. I, don't know. I, I remember Tulane Stadium. I remember Tulane Stadium. They used to sell the beer with uh, space and box. It would be lead the league. And they on the back. Okay. And they'd have the little thing. Yeah, beer kegs. Yes. So, mm -hmm. but anyway, so. One, tonight, so I want to talk talk a little bit, Doug, about um, what we're finding now um, that a lot of people have gotten work done or began getting work done after Ida, and um, they're just having horrible times with their contractors. Now we know we're we're filing a bunch of lawsuits in the next two weeks um, to get people's claims preserved, and um, what we're seeing is some of the people still two years later haven't gotten. The work done or you know maybe just got a roof put on but haven't got enough money to to put other things together and fix the interior of their home like it should be and so i wanted to just go over real quickly some of the things that you want to really be careful of um just a, a handful of things that will help protect you when you, when you're hiring a contractor um i don't know that you have as many Carpetbagger contractors that have come in from out of town to go in, you know, no licenses, no insurance, come in, make a quick buck. And now they're, you know, they're in Florida, you know, handling hurricane claims there. And who knows, they might be out in California before you know it. So uh, one of the first things you want to do is there's a website. It's the Louisiana State Licensing Board for Contractors. All right, and real quick, I muted website, you so you can answer me outright. I got a caller asking, um, uh, he's got a medical malpractice question. Do we know enough about that area of the law? Yeah, I, I can, I can and, and you can, you can do it? Okay, like all right, I'll, tell, I'll let him know. Then, Turn the mic back on. Um, they're obviously not going to get a permit. They're not going to use licensed subcontractors. They're not going to um, build your house back like it should be built. And so... That's the first step. The second step is, if you do find that they are licensed, you want to get a um, you want to get a a certificate of insurance from them, right? Make sure that they have insurance in the event, especially workers' compensation insurance, um, in the event that you know someone falls off the roof, et cetera. If they don't have workers' comp coverage, guess who guess who pays for the injuries to that employee? Um, you do. And so um, you want to make sure they, at the very least, have workers' comp coverage and also um, general liability coverage. And ask for a certificate of insurance. Don't take their word for it. Um, and, and even then, when you get a certificate of insurance, we've had people um, buy insurance and then the insurance would lapse, but they keep altering the form so, so people would think that they, they have insurance. Um, the second thing you want to do is, is have your contract with your builder evaluated by a construction lawyer. Um, you, you want to make sure that there are uh, you're not paying too much money up front. You want to make sure that you get um, what's called lien waivers from subcontractors. I've got a guy right now that uh, he's, he's building a house. He's, he's almost done. And then he just got a lien put on his house by a, uh, by a building supplier for $100,000. And so the contractor has not been paying the building supplier, uh, the building material supplier. So you want to make sure that before you make any payments to your contractor, that he gives you a lien waiver from his, you know, his trades, his plumbers, his electricians, et cetera, and from the material supplier. You know, who, where did you buy the, the framing material? All right, ABC Lumber. Well, we need a, we need, you know, something from them showing that they have been paid. When I see that, I'll go ahead and write you the check, and that needs to be in the contract. Um, there needs to be an attorney's fee provision in the contract where if you have to sue them because of their defective work, um, you know, and if it's only 10 or 15,000 in defective work and you hire a lawyer, the lawyer's fees may be somewhere near that. 
you know, and depending on the complexity of the case. Um, so you want an attorney's fee provision. You want um, you want uh, some deadlines, right? You want a completion date. You want to make sure that um, you know that that if if it's not completed by a certain date, that you get some sort of compensation for it. That there that there be what's called liquidated damages, whereby you're getting paid, um, you know, uh, or, or or they're, they're reducing the amount owed under the contract so that way they'll pay attention to your your uh, job and get their people over there and get it finished in time so you're not a year later i mean i've, I've got one right now i'm handling it's a year and a half after the uh, completion date was put in the contract but we'll go to break no and then come back to charles penalty provisions if you know yeah we're going to finish in six months okay but then what happens if you don't you know, and so, I mean, I guess it, it, at the end of the day, you can always file a claim against them, what's reasonable, right? And if they didn't complete it within a reasonable period of time after that, uh, you can sue them for damages. But you just don't, you'd rather have it writing. Um, there, there are a lot of other things you want to consider, especially if it's a new home. Um, here, I would suggest strongly if you're building a new home, um, that once the framing is complete, that you hire a, a separate third party to go in there and grab a set of plans and then go through the plans and, and look at the pictures of the, I mean, look at the, the building and look at the plans and make sure that it's framed properly. I see it all the time. They're supposed to use these LVL uh, beams that go across. They're these engineered beams that are you know significantly stronger than wood. And, you know, some framers will just shoot two two by 12s together and think that, you know, without, Consulting an engineer without consulting the architect, they're just going to do things their own way. So I would strongly suggest, at least after the framing is done, that you have it all looked at and make sure it's measured out right. Make sure that all the framing um, lumber is the, 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 the uh, two by four packs that where where they, they support headers and beams and roof and everything else that's all done properly. Um, there's a lot of a lot of things that you want to take into consideration. And it's a big, big investment, especially if you're building a home. And then there are things you need to know if you're building a home about the new home warranty act and what the exclusions are. And you can write a lot of those exclusions out of the contract, but you just have to know about them and know how to, you know, negotiate that out of the contract. So um, you can call us and we can guide you through a lot of that. But at the very least, make sure they're licensed. Make sure they provide you with a certificate of insurance. And uh, for workers' comp and for general liability, and make sure you get your lien waivers. Make sure there's a provision in there saying, "Hey, I want I want you to provide a lien waiver for every time you know I pay you, and that way I know that these people have signed the lien waiver and that they're not expecting to get paid anything beyond what I've already paid you." Yeah, you know, it seems like for each hur each hurricane, we seem to be defending a workers' comp claim because a um, employee got hurt. Uh, during a repair, and the and the contractor didn't have workers' comp insurance, and the subcontractor didn't, so the homeowner ends up being responsible for it. And a couple of these injuries were roofers that were serious, and um, we even had one where there was an undocumented worker who who was deported back to his home country, and he still was able to file a claim um, from from the location of his deportation. Um, so it is. Um, imperative that you make sure they have that workers comp certificate yep. certificate of insurance that's invalid because if not you'd be on on the hook and you know these the, these cases have yeah i mean the law is very clear if, if if you're the owner and someone is hurt on your property and they the contractor that you hired does not have workers compensation insurance then you're you're the one that pays the medical bills and the workers' comp benefits of this person. Uh, you so, it's something you really need to consider um, um, yeah. next so, time you, you, know, if you do any type of work. Type of work on your home. And, you know, I, th you know, I think the, the amount of calls we get too also is saying, you know, my contractor won't come back, he's left town. Uh, right. You know, he's, he's, he's ahead of me. I paid him more than the work that was done, and so he's, he's ahead, so he has no motivation to come back. So um, you know, it's 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 a real thing, and it's it's, it's difficult at times, especially after a disaster. You know, there's the the demands greater than the supply. So sometimes you just tap, you settle, 
without all that. But um, you know, buyer beware. That's for, that's for sure. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's let's go to a break. Very Albert Nico, your weekend warrior. All things legal. We will be right back after this brief timeout. <laughs> That's the instrument over there because it's so good. WWL, home of your Saints and LSU, always live on the free Odyssey app. Let's do it again. Our first team beat Mahomes and the Chiefs. Look out. All right. So uh, we're going to go to Charles from Prairieville next, telling about medical malpractice. Join Steve Geller and Jeff Noah. Following that is Michael from Kenner asking about uh, some insurance. Uh, and then I got two more. Hold on. Then after the game, on WWL. Okay, I'm ready to record my dual cameras new radio spot. We got a great script that really goes after Diamonds Direct and how they're nothing special. Now we can match their price. Great stuff. Great, great. And uh, we have this new technology that bleeps out any false claims, so it saves us time with editing. So uh, you can start anytime. Okay, here it goes. When you visit our jewelry store, we'll absolutely guarantee direct our diamonds come straight from the mine. We have cutters and Hey, what the the hard truth is that the other truth is that you can't know what Diamonds Direct, Diamonds Direct can. Diamonds Direct has special Diamonds relationships with the viewers, international, international connections, international and virtually connection. unlimited buying power. Unlimited the result power. is true direct importer true price, direct price exceptional price. quality, and, and up to 30 times the diamond selection you find at other stores. I can't believe this thing won't let me see. Diamonds Direct, your love, our passion. Get more truth Your love, at DiamondsDirect.com. Get more truth. Bobby Abrams, Dime- Andy Cannon here. Look, the baseball season is heading into the back stretch and get in on the action with FanDuel, America's number one sports book. You hear me say this all the time, not number two or three, but number one, that is FanDuel. Because right now, new customers get a no-sweat first bet up to $1,000. That's up to $1,000 back in bonus bets if your first bet doesn't win. Just go to FanDuel.com slash Abrams to join today. So don't miss your chance. To get a no sweat first bet up to one thousand dollars when you join FanDuel today, just go to FanDuel.com slash a bear. That's H E B E R T to sign up. FanDuel, the official partner of Major League Baseball and WWL Radio. Major League Baseball trademarks are used with permission. Twenty-one plus and present in Louisiana. Limited years only. First online real money wager only. 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 Wager his warehouse, and he's been dealing with the whole shenanigans of trying to get all the money back in his here you'll discover that custom made can naturally cost you Why? Why? Because we can buy direct. Ta-ta, little man. There's a great thing to buy from every time. Open our battery run. Low resources for complete employee solutions. Resources. This is an important notice to consumers facing $10,000 or more in credit card debt, credit card bills, or other unfortunate debt. You may not be required to pay it all back because there are special programs now in effect that will significantly reduce the amount you will owe if you qualify. This is not bankruptcy or a debt consolidation loan. These programs, which the credit card companies like to keep secret, exist to aid American consumers struggling with overwhelming credit card debt by offering tremendous savings and real debt relief. 
All things All legal on WL AM Like half of every good theme and soundtrack that is out there is on all right, we're back. All right, we're back. Let's turn over Let's the phone lines. Let's go to Tony. 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 Charles in Prairieville, the home of the late, late great Boots Garland. Uh, what you got, Charles? Charles. All right. No, Charles. Let's go to Michael. Um, hey, Michael, you're in all things legal. Hey, all things legal. Yes, good morning. good morning. I was calling uh, to ask to pick up, uh, piggybacking off of what you all had just spoke of on the segment. Um, I have some repairs, or should I say renovations, some major renovations going on at my personal property, and I do have a contract to be licensed, insured, and everything. And we don't have any issues with each other at all. He's doing pretty good. And we don't, we don't have any issues. But my question was, I had something stolen out of the property that owned up to somewhere around $800. They stole a toilet, a socket, and a few other items, and somewhere around seven eight hundred. My question was, can I, do I go after his work of time, or how does work of time work? I mean, not work of time. General liability, and how how do I make a claim for those solar night? Well, would you? And I know it wasn't it was just the neighborhood. I was well, so when you, you, when you, you yeah, unfortunately, uh, uh, um, uh, what would you? Should have again, it depends on the, the value of the construction contract, etc. But what you should have is what's called the builder's risk policy. And so, um, builder's risk, I mean, unless you can prove that the contractor did it or the contractor, you have video of the government taking it. No, 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 no. Yeah, but if it was some kids in the neighborhood or something, you know, they, you know got into the, got into got the, into the property into while, you know, while it, you know, you get something called a builder's risk, risk policy, policy, and that covers and that you for theft, it covers you for uh, damage, uh, damage to the, the, the property, the property um, um, covers you for a lot of, of uh, uh, in case uh, the property burns down, down, down um, um, you know, certain uh, other, uh, other uh, items, so, it's not an expensive thing, yeah, but you have a builder's risk policy for this particular job? Yeah, not through the contract. I bought it on my own when I borrowed the money to bank. Uh, the bank oh, well, there you go. And if you got a building for the policy, you can make a claim with them. I don't know what the contract is, but you can make a claim with the building risk carrier. And, yeah, the bank may be have that, and you know, I uh, would look at it and look at the declaration for agency. You know, you might have a five hundred dollars deductible, and is it worth it? To, you know, to make a claim for three hundred bucks. The thing about it is, you know, if you make your claim. It's not as if they block you or there's a yeah, yeah, one time policy, right? So it's not like your homeowner's coverage where they look at a number of the names and like it's just a risk based on that. So there's no real downside in that complaint with your builder's risk. Okay, and one other quick question. What does, what does general liability, and he has no title, what does general liability cover? Well, if it's a new home, um, not much. Uh, they, you know, I, 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 it, it, it's a new home for what's called uh, your work, meaning a contractor's work. So if the contractor builds a wall and it's crooked or the detective workmanship, the cop policy is not going to cover that. But if, if the wall is defective and it, it collapses, and it causes damage to your property, then that's what the general liability would cover. Um, 
And you have to look at some of the exclusions. They have the, the, the contractors in Norfolk, which is pretty, pretty rough um, the homeowner because the contractors quite right often don't do it. But, um, um, yeah, yeah, and, 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 and the new home, home you know, it covers, it covers it doesn't cover breach of contract. contract. So, um, you know, you know if, if, if they're building a new home, home 99 of what they do is their work, right? right? There's right. not like, not like a kitchen where they may, they may rain, rain into rain your, your existing property and cause damage, damage, and then that the problem would get rid of But if it's, they're trying to do some work and the quality of the work's effective, the insurance policy is not going to guarantee that they're going to do a good job. It's only going to cover you from damage and damage pain as a result. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Well, luckily, again, this gentleman, we don't, we don't have any problem. We don't have any work on me. I'm right. working with him. And we, we, the, 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 I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go to uh, Pat. Pat got a question regarding the stock question. Hey, Pat. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, gentlemen. I, I've got a question oh, concerning uh, my Ida claim. I'm good. I lost, I lost my total dwelling. Uh, they paid for the dwelling. I had replacement cost for the dwelling and content. It's a major, one of the majors. Um, I didn't rebuild uh, the solar property, so I lost that replacement cost, but so be it. You know, I came out with that. Um, the, on the content, you know, I've been working at it for two years, as you may know, that's you know, that's quite an effort. And, and <clears throat> excuse me, the final date for that, to submit anything I'm putting out that I report, is the 28th of this month, basically a week. Um, and as you probably, I'm sure you know, the way that works is you report your content, which takes, you know, a lot of thinking over the two-year period. They pay you the, 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 you know, adjusted value immediately, and then once you replace it and submit the replacement invoice, they pay you the difference between the replacement cost and what they've already paid. So we're just there, right? Right, yeah, that's called, that's called your recoverable depreciation. Yeah, they yeah, depreciate it, and you can recover it upon replacement. Exactly. My question is, I've done a pretty good job on replacing that. Is there anything, I, I, I've got to, I'm down to a short list. Um, is there any, I mean, this may sound like a stupid question, but I've, I've always heard there's no stupid questions, but I just don't know that I believe that. <laughs> um, if, if I replace things that I don't need and sell them, that's that's perfectly fine, right? Sure, that's, sure, that's up to you. Right. So I mean, that's to, to, you. Me, to me, the insurance company is getting a pass if you you know have anything of any significant value you don't replace. Right? So, am I seeing that right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, you know, I mean, here's the other thing, you know, we, we've got a situation right now with the old couple, and um, um, they're, they're, they just they haven't, haven't documented, documented their content. content. And they're real and they're photographs. Real photographs. Um, um, you know, they you just, know, they, 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 they made a list, it's just a list, a list of numbers, on, numbers and on it, it. And, it's, and we keep and trying we keep to explain to them, you know, you need to have photographs, because you have damage for them, you have to have damage for them, you have to pay you, because... It's, 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 you know, it's, it's not been, been uh, it's not been proven. proven. You, you gotta, you gotta prove the law, right? right? So, we were able to do that and establish that you had a good law, like you had. I think we had to break it. You're right. 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 You're you're not, not going to come, come out, out even, you know? know? Right. I have to say, they've been they've been very good. They haven't really challenged anything that I've reported. Although I did have right. although I, a, a backup for most, you know, many, many things through yeah, photographs, whether intentional or just you know, taking photos. I went through thousands of photos that I had. You know how we take so many pictures these days sure. and, and catalog any of my possessions that happen to be in those photos. But they never even yeah. asked for it. Yes. It's not really, it's not really uh, their job to ask for it. It's not really their job to ask for it. Right, but I mean, they've paid. 
they're paid without asking for it. You know, I reported right. it with the, the you have, I had the report on, you know, when I purchased it, number of years I owned it, so they can, you know, right. the, the appreciation. But other than that, right. I have to say, they've been very, they've been very good about that. So, so I'm going to my question. Go ahead. So here's what so here's I would what do. I would, you bet. I would call, I would call the adjuster and say, listen. Say, listen. I've got, I've got, I've these, 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 um, um, I got about, about $6,000 $6, in recoverable depreciation. You know, you know, I don't want to file suit, but, but if I have to, I have to, to, I have to preserve my rights, right? Right. To go after the recoverable depreciation. We can put it in the file semi And they may do that. That's a great idea. They may just shut they it down. Shut you know, down. You know, but look, if I'm going to have to file a lawsuit, you're going to have to file a lawyer, and it's going to cost a grand, grand just to open the file. So let's, let's you know, let's get this done and close it and be finished with it. That's a great idea. That'll save you a ton of work. I do have a call of a short list, but a short list of, you know, $175,000 worth of contents is still pretty sizable. Still pretty sizable. Oh, wow. Well, if that's the case, you may want to get a lawyer to go, you know, finish that up. No, 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 no. I've recovered. I've recovered. You know, probably I've recovered probably 160 of that. Oh, oh if you got 15 left, yeah, then it's a perfect, perfect opportunity for you at this point to hey, look. look any can will walk away. And I'll sign a receipt and release, and won't follow suit. Yeah, it's, that's that's a great idea. Well worth my call, gentlemen. Thank you so much for your time. All right, Pat. Thanks, Thanks for the call. Thanks Let's go to a break. Doug and Terry, Albert and Nico, yeah. or we can all yeah. all yeah. be right back. Be right back. Time out. Thank you for all the joy. Eric's view is like gotta be one of the best movies of the 80s. WWL, the news talk. The second this song kind of, you know, settled in, I saw that Albert started laughing. WWL Dr. says congratulations to our Ultimate Saints Farm. Germans are like, I think, like, thank you very much. Thank you. Wings fan season pass and Darylin Lips. You're a winner. Yes, not only do you win some signed black and gold merch, you have a pair of tickets. Yeah, actually, the phone lines have actually been lighting up in front of the Crazy today. We're going to go to Donald Fernola. Uh, he is worried about, we mentioned earlier, the liability with someone's property being you know, destroyed by someone else's property. Someone has a house that a neighboring house has been like severely destroyed by termites, and he wants to know like what protection like, he has from that house falling or collapsing and hitting it or messing his or anything like that. Well, debt consolidation. These programs, which the credit card companies want to keep secret, exist to aid a million. Following that, though, it's Donald from the West, because John from the West Bank is going to talk to you guys about success. Credited Debt Relief has established a special hotline. And then I got two more on the line as well that are on the line. We got a lot of credit more than normal. We might not be able to get that. It's waiting for the Better Business Bureau. So don't wait. Get the relief you need during these hard economic times. For this free information, call the Accredited Debt Relief Hotline now. Call 800-663-1313. 800-663-1313. That's 800-663-1313. Summer in the Gulf South, and if you're a business owner, you don't have time to pay. 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 You We had the building painted maybe three or four years ago, and it was starting to fail a little bit. And I heard and I heard Rhino Shield on the radio talk about it and decided that was the way to go. Idea is very appealing. One and done, and there we go. Twenty-five years transferable warranty. Sounds like right on the right on the right. Now, obviously, it shows up. 
two or three weeks after the August finish, this year, 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 this of course, when you love, there's only one place to go for wedding jewelry, and that's Open Heart. We search the world for only the most beautiful diamonds, and then we put our master craftsmen to work, creating one-of-a-kind rings, no treasure, no It's true. Save life. There's a great work of art in every box from Open Heart on Metairie Road. Are you a home builder in the New Orleans, North Shore, Baton Rouge market? If so, give Vinyl Tech a call today. Let us show you with high interest rates and less customers coming through the door how we can increase your bottom line. We can take care of your roofing, siding, gutters, and stucco. We can be reached at 504-469-7590 or online at VinylTechRoofing.com. Home builders, contact Shane Mulkey at VinylTechRoofing.com. Are you a business owner doing your own bookkeeping? What were you saying, Doug? Why, 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 why? from West makes no sense. John, John from West Bank. You do well by growing your business. And let Accounting Services Unlimited handle your bookkeeping. Hi, this is Thomas Fontes. Accounting Services Unlimited is insanely affordable and will come to you. Call for a free quote. Accounting Services Unlimited, 504-717-6253. That's 717-6253. Or visit us at asu-llc.com. These statements have not been reviewed by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Do these three words make you cringe? Calcium oxalate stones. If so, then this message will be a huge relief. Because now there's a kidney health supplement that has shown in laboratory tests to reduce the rate of calcium oxalate crystal growth by 99%. That's right, 99%. It's called Kidney Cop, Calcium Oxalate Protector, and nothing else comes close to its success. In fact, it has a 100% satisfaction guarantee. Kidney Cop is so innovative, it's been awarded five U.S. patents, is recommended by doctors and pharmacists, and is winning rave reviews from people all over the country. You can be one of them. Kidney Cop is super affordable. You can purchase affordable kidney All right, I don't want to take this break until, like, 53 or so, give or take. If you cringe with when you hear the words, maybe we'll be able to get through these. Hopefully, you don't know that, but we'll see. Right away. We, got, we got we got three on the line, and I think we'll confidently get two. This is saying two before the end of the show, not two in this break. If we can get two in this break, that'd be you know a gift from God. But baseball is all about the art and craft of play by play. Catch up on episodes with Joe. Actually, you know what? No rejoin. We're just gonna do music. I want you guys to really try to see if we can fit these guys. Cardinals on the radio, so now conversations are enriched with feedback. Whenever you hear the music. We're live in about 10. Uh, take it away. Years to come. The PBP, Voices of Baseball. I bring you the people who bring you the game. Listen on the Odyssey or wherever you get your podcast. All right. We're back. Phone lines are lit up. Let's get right, right to it. Let's get right to it. Let's get right to it. Hey, Donald, doing all things legal. Hey, Donald, doing all things legal. What can we do for you? Hey, good morning. Um, good morning. I got a house uh, next door to me, and uh, it's uh, collapsing. It's actively collapsing. It's been empty since 2006. The uh, termites did a number on it. And so I've been calling the city. I'm in New Orleans, so I've been calling the city to... Where else? Uh, Where else? Where else? Where else? Yeah. 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 To do something about it, but do nothing's about been it. done. Nothing's so, been you know, I'm trying to do work. I'm, I'm, I'm concerned it's going to collapse and fall into my house. I don't know. I don't know. You know, I can't even I finish can't fixing my fence because I because it's, it's falling. The debris is falling over and both sides of the house. Is just it, it just it just it just it, it just collapsed. Well, let me give you a practical <laughs> because we all, we all know that because we all, we all know that the administration is less than administration diligent on these issues. I would, go to council person. I would go to you, council take mm-hmm. pictures, take pictures, make an appointment, make with, an them. appointment with them. Because a lot of times they do have because the, a lot of times they do have the, the, um, the uh, strings to pull to start putting to things pull, in motion. To start um, things, um, you're going to have to get the property owner or somebody to take care of that property. And, that property and, 
you know, whether it's you know, whether demolish it or put it or, or something. Put a lean on it or something. I, you know, I, 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 I no, feel I, your pain I, 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 in New Orleans. And, New Orleans. and um, you counsel um, person, you maybe, person someone, maybe someone, maybe someone, you, you make an appointment, make an bring appointment, the pictures, bring the pictures um, if they have staff, um, sort of they take have the name of staff, staff, and sort of just develop a little relationship. And that may be something you can do because obviously it's probably been there for 17 years for you, right? Have you tried to to contact the owner? Yeah, he hung up on me. Yeah, he hung up on me. Albert? He hung up on me. Wait that night. Or do you know know the property taxes? Are the property taxes being paid paid on the property? property? You know? Yeah, it, yeah, I checked that. They'd be in pain. So, okay. Yeah, because I was going to say, if you can go, go, buy, go the buy the property for tax, tear, tear, tear it down, and have a nice, have a nice yard, yard on the side, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so but, uh, yeah, but, yeah, I would try to get the council person in the court. You might have to bring an action against some blight. Uh, it's civil uh, action in court, action court and, and get, get, get a judge, a judge to, to confirm that they're going to tear it down, if not, if not, and they can take steps to get the, uh, the, uh, the, the city to do it and, and, and you know, get reimbursed, et cetera. But it's, but it's, it's a hazard, it's all kinds of things, you know, you know whether, whether it's just not just, not just from just from the possibility of it falling, possibility of it falling in your, your house, house, but just but from just vagrants, fire hazards, and everything else everything else along with along with the vacant, abandoned home. Abandoned home. Abandoned home. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got some new neighbors yeah, called Possum and, and Raccoon. So. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah I'm sorry exactly. Yeah, I'm sorry <laughs> about that. that, that, that that's, that's terribly frustrating. That's terribly frustrating. Terribly frustrating. When, frustrating when you have a city in the administration. Sits in my hand. Sits in my hand. Yeah. 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 Hey, uh, hey, uh, quickly, uh, my, uh, my mom and my sister were co-owners of a home. My mom passed away. My sister became full owner. My sister has since passed away. Uh, she doesn't have a husband, never been married, doesn't have a kid. So who are the heirs of her? Is it nieces and nephews, brothers and sisters? Who, who, who are the two heirs of my sister? Well, the heirs, well, the heirs, yeah, the heirs, the heirs would be, would be uh, how many, uh, how many siblings, how many siblings did you have? Your sister and how many others? Six. 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 Okay. Okay. So, okay. so um, uh, what would happen what is happen her estate would be divided, would be divided by, by those six, six siblings. siblings. And if one of those one siblings, of those one of those other siblings, other siblings is deceased, deceased, then their and children would come into their portion. So their their children would get their one set of the estate. Um, it wouldn't um, be it divided, wouldn't be divided by, the by the number of people. people. It would be divided by heads. heads. So each each sibling is head, head and head it's divided, it's divided by six. By six. Oh, okay. All right, but you'd have to open a succession. You'd have to open a succession. Um, see if you see can if you maybe, maybe your siblings, your siblings and, and nieces and nephews, and nephews, nephews to agree that, uh, that uh, you could be the independent administrator of the state, and, and, and that way you can go ahead and sell the property, the property without, without getting all getting of all the heirs, and then you would just put the heirs in possession of one six each of the of the, of the, of the property and whatever other property she may have had, any bank account or anything like that. Uh, yeah, you need to go see a lawyer and get, get a place in possession. All right, thanks for the call. Right, thanks for call, call. you want to go to another one? We'll, we'll, we'll hit a break. Okay, we're going to go to break. We're going to go to break. We're going to go to break. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. This is free time. Yeah, I wanted us to go to break because I, I want to try to fit, you know, as many callers in as you can. Keep it locked on WWL for breaking sports news. Powered by BetQL. Smarter bets start with BetQL. Download the BetQL app or visit BetQL.com today.
WWL is proudly sponsored by Dudley DeBosier, official injury lawyers of the New Orleans Saints. Call 504 444 4444. The baseball season's heading into the back stretch, so why don't you get in on the action with FanDuel, America's number one sports book? Hey, it's Tommy Tucker right now. New customers get a no sweat first bet up to $1,000. That's up to $1,000 back in bonus bets if your first bet doesn't win. Just go to fanduel.com. Slash T O M M Y to join the day. Don't miss your chance to get a no sweat first bet up to one thousand dollars when you join FanDuel today. Just go to FanDuel.com slash T O M M Y and sign up. FanDuel, official partner of Major League Baseball and WWL. Major League Baseball trademarks used with permission. I love betting on. All right, so uh, I wanted to try to really fit in one more caller. Uh, we're back in about three minutes or so to put us at around like fifty seconds. Seven, give or take. Uh, we're going to go to Rob uh, from Metairie, who's got a uh, insurance issues uh, guarding uh, her car. Call her at 777 Has anyone seen Roger? Where's Roger? It's time to open the jewelry store. Where is everyone? Did they all take the day off? At traditional jewelry stores everywhere, employees are quiet quitting and going to Diamonds Direct. Not just to work, but to shop. That's because even with employee discounts, Diamonds Direct offers all shoppers better selection and much better value. As a true direct importer of diamonds, Diamonds Direct has long-standing relationships deep in the world diamond industry, as well as the best diamond putters across the globe. I would have been looking at quiet part out loud. Without the middleman markups, Diamonds Direct offers customers bigger, higher quality diamonds at a low cost. Every day. Not to mention the best selection, the best customer service, best warranties, and best overall. Do you want to end with something saint oriented? Paying too much for your diamonds. Give me Diamonds Direct. You won't be alone. I'll have you. Diamonds Direct. Your love, our passion. Get details, direction, showroom hours, and more at DiamondsDirect.com. Here in New Orleans, we all know that weather events can interrupt operations, but ransomware can be just as destructive because your cyber security system is robust and robust. The ability to work remotely by choice or if necessary, protect your company's digital assets with custom IT solutions from those local experts at Monarch Technology. Don't risk becoming the next victim of poor IT management. Ensure you are this amount by visiting montechllc.com for more information. Offices in Baton Rouge. Rejuvenity Medical, now open in Homo. RejuvenityMedical.com. Hi. Uh, yeah, we, we, have, we got Rob uh, from Metairie. We're going to try to fit him in. My eyes connect me with things I love. I loved my late father-in-law. He always lit up a room, but his vision dimmed with age. He had age-related macular degeneration, or AMD. And since partnering with the power, I've learned there's an advanced form of disease called geographic atrophy, or GA. Yeah, uh, I will. Uh, we're, we're back in about 30 seconds. I'll do music, no rejoin. Uh, if, if we are really up against the clock towards the end and this conversation gets certainly dragged out, I'll just, you know, cut them off until you guys take them off. Need or see loved ones' faces. Many have trouble seeing them. Many have trouble seeing them. Driving at night, difficult. GA gets worse over time and cannot be reversed. If you've been diagnosed with AMD and notice vision changes, don't wait. Talk to your eye doctor about your eye doctor today. Learn more at gawontwait.com. That's gawontwait.com. All right, we're back. That's all right. I'm going to go. You're with the lawyers. All the You're with the lawyers. All the We got who? We have my Colin. We got who? Rob. Rob. You got about two minutes, Rob. What you got for us, brother? Rob, what you got for us, brother? Okay, I'll be as quick as possible. So, uh, during my ID evacuation, I was in a hotel I was paying for myself. I called State Farm and asked them about my loss of use, and the agent told me in specific words, stay put, they'll take care of my loss of use. Um, it had happened before where I had minimal damage, and my agent said, the deductible will go toward the damage, and we'll pay 100% of 
going to be a loss of use, mileage, and storage for your fridge. So when she told me that, I put the word for it, and I said, I have a, a um, Red Cross paid room down the street on the stay at. She said, no, stay put. Well, it comes out, I came back, gave my receipt, and they said, uh, this is going to go to your deductible. We're not actually paying for the loss of the loss of use. The call was actually recorded. My agent heard it, and he said something about, you know, her detrimental reliance. I relied on her and she gave me misinformation. Do I have any chance of getting that covered? Well, yeah. not, you, will, you'll not have to file a I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I, I think the contract, I, I think the contract would probably, would probably override, override as opposed to what they said. There could be a detrimental uh, argument uh, that, would maybe, that would maybe enforce a settlement or facilitate a settlement or, 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 settlement or, or resolution, resolution file suit. But it's not, um, it's not you know, generally you go by the contract. So, um, okay. And uh, I, I, I guess the rules haven't changed. As far as I know, it was uh, a mandatory evacuation because of the time constraints. And I, I remember the insurance commissioner you know, requesting that insurance company be covered and then mandating it. However, they he didn't what penalize Paris? them. Paris. Paris. Jefferson, Jefferson, yeah. Jefferson yeah. and Metairie yeah. State Farm, which apparently yeah. doesn't want to be in the insurance company. How much, how much, how much damage, how much did, you have damage did you have in your house? It, was, it wasn't so much, I, you know, I, I would say moderate, you know, $20,000 worth of damage, and I deductible $25,000, so. Okay, um, okay. Uh, that could, uh, uh, you know, if you file this, you might be able to enforce the settlement, um, you know, for a compromise. You know, for a compromise. Thanks for the call, you got to file by, by, uh, by uh, August 29th, 29. I declare, 15 seconds. Uh, we'll see you next uh, week on all week on all the other great week. Who dat? Go Tigers? Who dat? No Tigers in two weeks. See you in two weeks. See you next week. See you next week.